Uh, talk about being left holding the bag, or in this case, boxes. $24,000 worth of Girl Scout cookies, to be exact. That's the predicament facing some Girl Scouts in Portland, Oregon, after someone placed a fake order for the cookies. And now they've got to figure out how to sell them and bankroll their plans for summer camp. They're building a pyramid of cookies, part of an order of 500 cases that turned out to be a hoax. Seven-year-old Shelby, eight-year-old Aaron, and her older sister Maddie, ready to help deliver cases for the massive corporate sale. 6,000 boxes of Thin Mints, Samoas, and more. But the order wasn't real. It makes me feel sad because I, cause I thought somebody really bought 6,000 cookies, but they really didn't. Two troops put boxes aside for the order. Now they have a mountain of problems. Most of the girls don't have enough cookie credits for camp. I tell them that it is, that that's not nice. The Girl Scout cookie sale is officially over, so the girls have to come up with more creative ways to earn the missing cookie credit. So how are you going to sell all these boxes here? I really have no clue. That is a lot of cookies. They're learning about business ethics, just as it says on the box. But they could turn this around. What if they sold as many boxes as the hoaxers order? 500 cases, saving summer camp this year. We are going to try and sell all these cookies that are in here. Do you think you can do it? Yes, our Girl Scouts are very hard workers. I like a case of the shortbread and a case of the Thin Mints. In fact, the line started forming today before they even opened the doors. Janice Irvine at the front of the line holding a $100 bill. There's no reason to punish them because of the dishonesty of adults. Four Samoas. Two thin men. Two thin men. Bravo. Hope they get those mm -hmm. cookies So One of the scouts' parents claims that a co-worker pulled this cookie hoax but hasn't explained why.